Yeah, well, this is a great gift that the church has um, given to us over the ages. So, you know, if you look back at the at the book of Daniel, there's that old famous story of Daniel in the lion's den, right? Um, uh, and how, you know, the king of uh, Babylon sent him into um, the lion's den. It may have been actually the king of Persia. I need to change that one. <laughs> uh, but uh, I sent him into the, the lion's den. But people often uh, forget what, why he was sent in, into the lion's den. And the reason is because um, the king, Darius, had uh, appointed this decree that said that anyone who worshipped any god other than King Darius uh, would be thrown into the den of lions. Daniel, having heard this decree, uh, nevertheless, uh, still uh, went up to his house, went up into the upper room, opened the windows of his ch uh, chamber, uh, which looked out uh, towards Jerusalem, and he got down on his knees, uh, the book tells us, three times a day, and prayed, and gave thanks to his God. And that has always uh, stuck with me, that, that three times a day. Because, and the reason Daniel was thrown into the lines then is because... Um, Darius's people walked in and saw him doing this and so threw him into the lion's den for worshipping someone other than Darius. But um, what strikes me is the, the regularity and the consistency that uh, Daniel clearly had in his prayers to um, have this rhythm uh, that he could always rely on when he, uh, when, when he knew it was time to pray and he knew it was time to pray three times a day. Right? So there's this, this, um, this fixity, this um, fixedness to his prayers that he has um, each, each day of his life as a faithful Jew. And he's echoing there the, um, the passage from the Psalms, Psalm 55, that says, um, at evening and at morning and at noonday I will uh, praise God and he will hear my voice. And that, of course, is echoing all the way back to the book of Genesis, where um, when God created all things, he inscribed this rhythm into the way things are, the way the, way the world exists. Right, it was evening and a morning and the second day, evening and morning the third day. So the daily office is um, a way for Christians to um, praise God in a consistent, regular, daily manner um, that um, echoes and follows the patterns that God has inscribed into creation. Um, in the Book of Common Prayer, we have morning prayer and evening prayer. Um, so uh, every morning we can get up and we can be fed with uh, this extraordinary diet of scripture. The morning prayer service is basically just all scripture. It's, um, you read passages from the Psalms, you read passages from the Old Testament and the New Testament, you read canticles that have been pieced together from various parts of scripture, you read collects, which just means prayers um, uh, that have been um, weaved together by uh, with various passages throughout the scriptures. Um, and, and you just let all of that wash over you and shape you and form you um, and feed you. Um, and not only feed you, but give you a way of offering praise to God, which is what our lives are about, about giving thanks and praise to God um, at all times and in all places.